Hello YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another Video Game Month. This is a 2017 CGI animated film, yes, animated, uh, that came out in Japan. It also was released here in the States. Resident Evil Vendetta. Mm -hmm. This is the at CG animated, you know, motion capture version. And this is good. This is actually one of the good ones that came out uh, after those Paul W. Sanderson movies came out from 2002 to 2017. Because this is actually like the game, you know, mostly. It's an animated biopunk action horror film set in the same universe as the Resident Evil games. Produced by Marza Animation Planet. Amazing animation, by the way. And Takashi Shimuzu. The film features the characters Leon S. Kennedy, Chris Redfield, and Rebecca Chambers. Yeah, not Jill... Valentine or Claire Redfield. They have a new character, uh, not a new character. Rebecca Chambers was in the original game. It's the third CG film after Degeneration, which I saw years ago, and Damnation, which I bought on Blu ray. It's good, yeah. The plot is basically um, this guy, the story step between the events of Resident Evil 6 and 7, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. There's a guy named uh, Glenn Arias. He's an, an, an American d dead merchant. And a former CIA operative who's wanted by both the Interpol and FBI. Arias is on a mission of vengeance against the U.S. government for killing his friends and family in a drone strike at his wedding. Yeah, And basically, Leon and, and Chris and, and Rebecca Chambers try to stop him from unleashing this gas that's going to turn anybody, everybody in the, in the city into zombies. That's basically the plot in a nutshell if you played the games. And it's the A virus, not the T virus. Animality virus, which makes people into ravaging beasts. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the, the animation design is, is amazing. The voice acting is fantastic. And in the Amer I saw the English dub. I didn't see the Japanese version. So this is from the English dub that I saw on online. You have uh, Kevin Dorman as, as uh, Chris Redfield. He has great voice presence. You have uh, Matthew Mercer as Leon S. Kennedy. You have en Erinka Hill as Rebecca Chambers. Gorgeous voice for that beautiful character. You got John Demita as Glenn Arias. You have Diego uh, Frank Tascarori as G D Diego Gomez. He's basically Bane from the Dark uh, from the Dark Knight Rises or from the Arkham games where he has that big metal plate and he has those big muscles. Yeah, he looks like Bane. You got uh, Christina V as M M Maria Gomez. You have uh, Arif S. Kinchin as DC. He's the black guy that uh, pilots the plane. You got Arnie Patoja as Damien. You have uh, Nadia, played by Carrie Walgren. And you have Patricio Alexander Polinsky. That's in the dub version. But it didn't feel like it was dubbed. It felt like it was something that was American made. Because the, voice, the, the, the voices and the, and the movements of the mouse work perfectly. It doesn't feel cheated. And of course, Rotten Tomatoes didn't care for it. Because I'm like... Again, it's based on a game, and the movie is about 92 minutes. It goes by real quick. You're not waiting for something to happen. There's not too much exposition. It gets by real qu quick. Uh, now, Dreadful Central gave it 4 out of 5 stars. That's what I gave it on, on uh, uh, whatchamacallit, on Letterbox. I gave it about 4 out of 5 stars because it's amazing. Simply put, it's an absolute blast, and I can't wait for more. Collider gave it a, a, four, a B uh, minus and wrote, it's worth a watch for sure, but it's also certain to be appreciated by fans of the franchise. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've played the games. I played the first three on the PS1 and I played uh, Code Veronica on the PS2. So I am a fan of these, this franchise. Earlier this year, an IGN released a teaser trailer for Resident Evil Death Island which will serve as a sequel to this. I hope it lives up to this one, because this one is going to be really hard to top, just like Mission Impossible Fallout. Dead Reckoning's biggest problem is that it has to top what happened in the last movie, and that's really hard, especially with all the new people they added. It's scheduled to be released this summer. I can't wait, because this one was really good. I, I love the animation, the voice acting. The action is bloody good R-rated fun. It doesn't skip on the violence. Uh, it's got you know a really good atmosphere. It's creepy. Uh, you know, it's got a way a faster pace than the, the Paul W. Sanderson movies. It doesn't do too much slow mo. It's pretty badass. If you're an adult like me, not Little Sims because you're 14, uh, you can watch this. I would recommend at least watching this once. It's pretty badass. The English dub is fine. 
If you can find a Japanese version, that would be good to watch. I think the Blu-ray has a Japanese version. I wouldn't mind seeing the Japanese version because I see how different it is. But the English dub is not a waste of time. It's really good. And it is worth your time. And after watching some terrible video game movies uh, in the past couple years, uh, from the 2010s and also from this, from the last couple years, I still I think it's worth your time. And, it, it you know... There's some references that they make in, in the movie, but it is what it is. And uh, if you're a fan of the games, what are you waiting for? Watch this. Definitely. Because it is a feast for the eyes, I can tell you. It should have been released in theaters in the U.S. instead of direct-to-video because it's just badass. Thankfully, it's available to stream, so I would say recommend watching it. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next review.